Hello, I'm going to give a quick walk around from a military maintenance truck. This is a 1986 Chevy. You can look at it as a K30 if you want to compare it to a civilian model. 23,000 miles. It has a 6.2 liter diesel. Turbo 400 transmission followed by a new process 208 transfer case. Axles, front axles, Dana 60. 456 gov locker rear axle 14 bolt GM 456 gears all rims are 8 bolt 1 ton all right now military difference and civilian difference is everything under the hood is a 24 volt system meaning that the starter and the charging system are 24 volts made to uh, ensure that you get the truck started in the field and also run some of the radio equipment that they've had. Uh, and then along with that is you have a slave connection up front so you're able to jump off other military vehicles. Headlights, taillights, inside the dash, all that stuff is going to be a 12 volt system because it's stepped down with a reducer. I bought this truck from Eastover, South Carolina. Uh, off of government liquidation. It's time for me to sell, move on to some other trucks. Engine is very clean. The work that I had to do this truck was this, uh, the power steering bracket down below this alternator was broken. I removed it, welded it, it's good to go. The truck is very sound. What they did is they uh, refurbished these. They would send them down to Albany, Georgia, I believe, and they sent it through fourth echelon or fifth echelon where they just tear it all apart and they reassemble it maybe when we, we get to some of the parts you can see how they numbered the parts so they could get the truck all back together try to block some of the sun show you the mileage 23,741 Somebody put a radio in there. One of the mods they did is they put a volt gauge in here. You can tell it's a 208 transfer case by the shifter. Maintenance body, Southwest maintenance body. All aluminum body. I don't know how much it weighs. The subframe is even aluminum. They have these slide trays here. This one had a diesel power generator. That's why it has this exhaust set up to ventilate. Also up in the corner you can see where the exhaust stack was. And the generator, this whole mechanism was on this sliding rail. So if you wanted to put a tray in here, you could slide your generator and your uh, in and out of there. Storage compartments, each door has a prop to prop the door open. I've never seen one of these bumpers on these maintenance trucks. That's uh, it's pretty heavy duty. Pindle hitch. Also you have your receiver hitch. Plenty of storage space back here. All the lights work. Water jug storage. More props. Here you have your tank storage. Clamp them down, secure them. Sorry, moving fast. I know one of the things that annoys me on YouTube is a slow video. I also put a drive shaft on. The government liquidation site, when they moved it, they picked it up with a forklift and they bent it. I don't know if you can see it. This truck was number 33. When it went through the uh, echelon line, getting tore down and rebuilt, 